Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. What are you saying, people? Long time no chats. Well, I'm doing this quick one right off my iPhone. I have some thoughts and I need to get them out and I need to share them. My auntie, she's passed away, I think, an hour, two hours ago. There's lessons in everything and in death there is a lot to be taken because every single one of us is going to be in that position of Sakarat al Mawt. Prophet says, Allah Allah inna lil mawti la sakarat. It's difficult, it's not easy. And as my auntie was going through Sakarat al Mawt, you go in and out of consciousness. And my mother was telling me because she was right beside her, Alhamdulillah, Allah has blessed her and given her the opportunity to share her final moments with her. She was saying that the second she regains consciousness, that I pray, Asr prayer, has the time of Dhuhr come in? My rock for Tamam, where is it? She's thinking about prayer. That is the only thing on her mind. That's her aql al that's her subconscious. You and I think we're going to be able to say the kalima of la ilaha illallah on a deathbed, but in reality, when you're going in and out of consciousness, you don't even know what's going on. And the only thing that you will be saying or projecting is the way you lived your life and the things you stood for. So if you've stood for la ilaha illallah throughout your life, that is what you're going to be projecting. That is what you are going to be saying. If you've stood for other things, then that's what it's going to be. And that's just that. There's no ifs, buts, or maybes about that. She also got to a stage where she would um, invite the guests as they would come in. Because she used to host uh, the family gatherings. and uh, So she'd invite them in and say, uh, welcome, okay, the... I don't, I'm sorry, I don't have anything, you know, cooked right now for you guys. You just came out of nowhere, but Allah, I'm so happy to have you. What are you going to cook? You're in ICU. But obviously, that's, she's, you know, she's not there, but she's, you know, hospitable. She's, she's so selfless. I'll tell you her situation, yeah. My auntie, she was not married. And she stayed to a later age in her life where she was looking after my grandmother and my other auntie who wasn't married who got cancer many, many times, and she was their caretaker. My grandmother then passed away, and she was still looking after my other auntie, who was also in Tunisia for treatment with her. She got cancer again. May Allah give her shifa as well. And then one of my other aunties, she ended up getting divorced. So now she was able to look after my auntie, Khwila Faiza, who has cancer. And Khwila Samira, the one that passed away, she was always feeding pain throughout the years. She was always silent. She always remained silent, and she never told anybody about the pains she's having and stuff like that because she is the only one. She is the one that looked after my grandmother and my auntie face. And without her, it's very difficult because everyone else is married. Everyone has families, this, that and the other. So she didn't say a word until my other auntie, she got divorced. She started looking after my auntie Faiza. And then she was like, listen, I want to get checked up because I'm not feeling too well. Turns out she's probably had cancer for over a decade. That was the type of woman she was. So at the time of her death, she was thinking of other people. The time of her death, she was a sawama. She would fast. She was a qawama. She would do qiyam al -layl. She was a righteous woman. Allah is her hasib. The final moments are telling. They tell you. They tell you everything. And that's why I have a bit of a smile on my face. Because, wallahi, the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not leave her tongue until the moment she passed away. The Quran, it's in her heart. She was hafid kitab Allah. And the reason why... I'm even hopping on is because when my mom was telling me this, I'm thinking to myself, if I was put in this situation, what would my subconscious be saying? What would I be uttering? And it's a question that every single one of us needs to ask. Are you going to be reciting Kitab Allah Azza wa Jal? Are you going to get up out of your coma and, or out of your, you know, little ghaybubah and you're going to be thinking, have I prayed? Prayer. I don't have wudu. How am I going to make wudu? Can I make wudu in the normal way? Please. So, I don't know, man. It's something that we all need to reflect upon. And we need to take lessons, man. These lessons, the reason why you're watching this video is because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala willed for you to click on this video, watch it, 
and you would be very very stupid not to take lessons from this because like i said we're not promised tomorrow we're not promised today we're not promised the next second um and every single person is going to die اللهم نقيها من خطاياها كما يوقف الثوب الأبيض من الدنس اللهم بعد بينها وبين خطاياها كما بعد بين المشرق والمغرب أسأل الله أن يسكنها فسيح جناته مع الصديقين والشهداء والصالحين وحسن أولئك رفيقا Everyone's gonna die إنك ميت وإنهم ميتون كل شيء هالك إلا وجهه له الحكم وإليه ترجعون صلي اللهم وسلم على سيدنا محمد أهو على آله وصحبه أجمعين um, I might do a launch code I think my brother Ahmed is going to do it It's going to be uh, just a, a, a water water well for my auntie um, I think it's the least we could do for her inshallah So if you can be in Allah Ta'ala Donate on these blessed 10 days of Dhul Hijjah Days that Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala made qasam by said well fajr oh la yal in ashr and mufassirin said the layal in ashr are the 10 of dhul hijjah subhanallah that's another reflection <laughs> she died on the 10 days of dhul hijjah uh, how did that even leave my mind but uh anyways yeah so bibn allah ta'ala i'm gonna get like a a water project uh, set up in the Ta'ala because it's a Sadaqa Jariya for her and if he knew her person he'd be very touched because she was a righteous righteous a woman and like I say Allah has her judge in the end of the day and Allah knows um, but yeah anyways Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh um, I'll see you on the next video The next one's actually going to be uh, The update of the Gambia project Because I actually went to Gambia And then I went to Tunisia I didn't film too much in Tunisia Because you know I was kind of busy just with my aunties and Alhamdulillah I didn't film I was just I was just with them You know and I, Alhamdulillah I took them out And Subhanallah the, the last days The last day that I was there she got so full of life and something in me knew that she was about to die uh, and it reminded me of the story of the prophet وسلم, when he was going through the sickness and then you know the sahaba felt or thought that he gained a full recovery and they were very happy and he got up, got up on the minbar and he gave his final speech his final khutbah um but his uncle al-abbas he knew that uh, it was his final days um, and even me I was thinking obviously when I first saw her she was very different from my auntie that I've known before she was so skinny so I think she told me she was 45 kg and one time I like kind of grabbed her to to walk up the stairs and I, I literally got goosebumps I felt her a skeleton and in my head, I'm like, no way, she's 45, she's definitely less than that. Um, but anyways, then she started feeling really good. Uh, and the last day, she actually went on two walks. When I first got there, she wasn't even able to leave the couch. And then out of nowhere, she was walking. She walked, uh, we went for a little kind of cafe. She got a cappuccino. Allah, she was so happy. She was like, oh, I haven't had a nice cappuccino in so long. And she was smiling. I was, I was so happy. I filmed it. I sent it to my mom. Um, and yeah. And then she went for a walk. And then when we came back. She was like. I want to go for another walk. And I was like. Allah Akbar. Yeah. Let's go. But then the second that walk was over. Boom. She just got right back into bed. Well she didn't even make it to bed. She was just like in the couch. And um, and then her, her state got worse and worse. Um, so. I literally ran my mom, I urged I was like, listen, not to be pessimistic, but I feel like it could be it. 
because honestly it, it's, it's mad because it didn't register like this is the first time she's going through chemo like my my mom's family have been going through chemo a lot of them like go through it like the one that my auntie Hwile Samira was looking after Hwile Faisa she's been through cancer treatments for years you know um well, subhanallah man these are and it's all written it's all written and every single person has a date time and place in which they're going to pass away that's it and she, she, she never was you're going to record me doing the come on bro <laughs> he's doing the laundry bro you know people texting me saying to me oh yeah i'm sorry for your loss and stuff subhanallah bro i don't feel like i've lost anything bro obviously i'm upset that i didn't get to see her and stuff like that but that woman bro subhanallah she was never married she spent her whole life looking after her parents looking after the household looking after her family life of service every single time but anytime we went to libya it was here that was cooking the dinner it was here that's cleaning the house anything that needs to be done around the house is here that does it remember yeah, the coffee she used to make us yeah she used to whip them up like yeah yeah, yeah, yeah they yeah, were yeah. mad i can't remember what they were called yeah coffees but, desserts yeah bro it was mad subhanallah oh. so when people say to me oh i'm sorry for your loss don't be sorry there is no loss here if anything she, she died what she was half the quran she is half the quran she, subhan bro half the quran bro like that's that's a major major thing bro not only that yeah is she when she was dying on her deathbed she was eating the quran Qul huwa Allahu ahad. that's what she's saying Qul huwa Allahu ahad. The, 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 the surah of tawheed surah of tawheed bro. One, bro. bro allah is over one bro and over, and over, over and over and over yeah. again bro how can you tell me i lost she she rang louisa she rang my wife and she said to her listen Louisa, I've never met you from before, but I love you. Subhanallah, and you know that... that like, She's that, such a pure heart. Bro, that's Allah. so pure, bro. Louisa, like, she, like, that meant a lot to her. Do you get me? Imagine, like, she, I, I wish bro, I wish I went and visited and stuff like that, but... Allah, yeah. Allah man, these, these but things... But now we do, we do the water well Yeah, yeah. Man. The reason we're doing the water well is because she has no kids. And when you have no kids, if you have a good kid, Allah will still... It's like a sadaqah jariah for you when your parents die. So inshallah we're able to do water wells with spot project also we're gonna do inshallah with spot project and inshallah khair man you know what i mean we'll try to take on the role of our children even yeah. though we probably can't you know, this 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 sadaqa jariya yeah. will come from you guys and us for someone who has 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 given their life for the well, service of their family and their parents bro but you don't understand man i remember this woman bro her dad subhanallah he was sick he had cancer yeah and no one knew he had cancer yeah and he was very picky with his food. And when we were younger, we used to rob his food. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's bad. Yeah. Yeah, when we were younger, we used to rob the muffins and stuff like that. The muffins were busted. And, and he'd call her and he'd be like, Samira, when, when? Like, where's the muffins? Where's the muffins? You get me? And subhanAllah, bro, she, no, she never talk back, never raise her voice, nothing. She'll go get another muffin and she'll come down. And bro, you know what, bro? I, I have a lot of respect for Mamu's family because... Yeah, I, you'll never hear them raise their voices on their family, on their parents. You'll never see them fight with each other. You'll never see them raise, like they never fight and stuff like that. Even in my family, to be honest, I feel like we don't really fight. We just we uh, we we debate re on regards of religion. Uh, and shout out to my mum, bro. That's for my mum, bro. So, anyways, guys, inshallah, there will be a launch good, uh, a launch good campaign. Just keep an eye out, and inshallah, this is. Uh, a sadaqa jariya for you guys also, but a sadaqa jariya for my auntie who sacrificed her life serving people. Oh, finish the fish. Oh, now you're doing the dishes, sah, uh, next. No, I'm not doing no dishes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, listen. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Oh, Khole Faiza. This is the cappuccino. Okay. It's going to be a good one. لازم في الموثائق يا عاد هذا الكورنيش بتاعهم تعبتين اه اخوي فايزه قاعد نصور نصور كيف الناس سلف لا مش ديما تقول لي انت معمرك في الفيديو هو تو قاعد في الفيديو تصور في الفيديو اه بالمقلوب عاد مش نصور بالمقلوب بكي طريقه تصويرتي مش انا نصور روحي لازم نصور بالطريقه هذيك
Huh? Ah, they can be so Ah, she's asking me using the back camera because it's better quality. I should have the show that get a lot of tea. Like I can so work if you're being at me, I'm gonna show the tins. I've been using this, flowing around with it. Shouldn't we go to Faiza? Ah, go to Faiza, shouldn't we? شو حصلت؟ اه؟ احنا عندنا شعويلة صغار عندنا شعويلة صغار. The one that I was bantering with was my auntie Faiza, who has literally had so many cancer treatments throughout the year. She's missing like a big portion of her brain as well. She had like a brain tumor and uh, may Allah make it easy for her, may Allah give her shifa. I knew them that passed away was the one looking after her for years. Oh man, I was watching the videos, got me through the feels. It got me in my feels, I'm not even gonna lie. But, in al qalba la yahzan, wa in al ayna la tadma'. That's the way it is. Wa innana ala firaqiki, ya khuda samira na mahzunun. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I keep rambling, la 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 la. Alright. Assalamu alaikum. We'll see you guys. I want to post the link, but in the end, do donate even a euro. I think Launch Good are giving away five thousand dollars to um, you know the the top supporters. So if we can even get it one day, that will be our goal. Pretty much achieved, but in the end, to get a water well because I think a water well is like three k. If we go for two water wells, that'll be beautiful.